All right, what's going on, boys and girls? I know it's been a while since I've uh, done any content. Things have been a little crazy around in life, but we have a fun little unboxing to do. I ordered something a couple months ago. Finally showed up. Let's uh, let's uh, let's unbox this. The good old Pine Phone. Postmarket OS Convergence Edition. All right, so as you can tell, we are here unboxing the Pine Phone. And this device is something I have been really, really waiting for to actually get here. This is the Convergence Edition with Postmarket OS. This is the three gig, 32 gig storage version. So let's rip into this and see what the actual contents of the box is, shall we? Ooh, pine phone. That's actually really nice. So let's get into it. It's finally here after many months of waiting. Uh, for those that are wondering, the whole point for me to get the pine phone was to try out some of the more alternative operating systems that are available for it. There are a bunch of them. There are 13 that I can think of that I'm interested in off the top of my head. You, uh, Postmarket OS um, is an Alpine o, uh, Linux version flavor. I'm not sure quite how I feel about it, but for me, the whole thing is really just about seeing how far along these devices come. So there's your the box. Got some paperwork. Let's see. We got introduction to Postmarket OS, getting started, Pine 64 resources. Cool. A user's guide in quite a few different languages. Nice and thorough, too. Gives you a breakdown of the hardware and all that kind of stuff. So props on the documentation. All right. So here we go. Whoa, we have the Pine phone itself. So we can even get this out. Ooh. Ta -da. So for those that are looking for a size comparison, here is my OnePlus 17. Here is the Pine Phone. Thickness, with, it's about the same thickness and whatnot of the OnePlus 7T with the case on, which that's not bad. Um, build quality, it's plastic on the back, but, you know, whatever. I love the love the little aesthetic of, you know, powered by Linux on the bottom. That's cool. But overall, the build quality is really nice. Um, looks like there's a pre-applied screen protector, which is awesome. I'm cool with that. Doesn't feel like a real big fingerprint magnet. Um, what else do we got? We got the USB-C charger. Just the char uh, cable. We don't have an actual USB-C uh, uh, wall wart. So there's that. Quality actually feels really nice for the cable too. So that's nice. Um, how long are you? Eh, you're a decent length too. So there's your cable. And then we have the USB-C convergence dock, which, let's see, you have HDMI, two USB ports, 
Ethernet and your USB C adapter for the bottom of the Pine Phone. So that's really that's all in the box, guys. If you guys want to see a more thorough breakdown, first impressions, I will be doing that on Linux for Everyone's channel and giving my initial thoughts on Postmarket OS and how this feels as a product that is it's a product that is gonna fit its demographic which is a platform to build on this is a target platform i'm not viewing this in the way that most people would and viewing this as like a finished phone i'm viewing this as a product that can be continuously innovated on and targeted by software developers so that's kind of the point i'm going to be taking with this particular device but there's your unboxing of the Pine Phone and the initial kind of how it feels in the hand.